Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to graph a compound inequality involving AND on a number line. Let's jump into our example where we have x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than or equal to 7. So we have two inequalities combined by AND. So here, x has to be greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to 7. So a solution of a compound inequality involving AND must make both inequalities true, must satisfy both. Now something I want to mention about compound inequalities involving AND, they can be written without the word AND in the middle. All we need to do here is start with our variable, x. And our variable is going to go in the middle. Now x is greater than negative 2, and x is less than or equal to 7. And that's our compound inequality written without the word and. And we can read this starting with the variable. So x is greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to 7. So whenever you see a compound inequality written like this, it's a compound inequality involving and. So this is something to keep in mind while working with compound inequalities. Now let's graph this on a number line. And this is going to give us a nice visual representation of the compound inequality. And we're going to break this down into two graphs first in order to better understand what we're working with here. And then we will combine everything into one. First, we have x is greater than negative two. So let's just focus on that and graph that. Negative two is not included. So we start with an open circle at negative two. And then we need an arrow going right, representing everything greater than negative two. And that's x is greater than negative two. Anything greater than negative two is a solution. Next, we have x is less than or equal to seven. Now seven is included, so we need a filled circle at seven and then an arrow going left representing everything less than seven. And that's x is less than or equal to seven. Seven is a solution and anything less than seven. Now, since this is a compound inequality, we need to combine these. We need to see where they overlap. So think of it like this. We want this section right here. So we need an open circle at negative two, a filled circle at seven, and then we want everything in between. So this is our graph of x is greater than negative two and less than or equal to seven. That represents our compound inequality. So as far as solutions, some numbers that will work for x and make this compound inequality true, let's try a couple of numbers out. For example, will three work for x? Is three a solution? Well, is three greater than negative two? and less than or equal to seven? Yes, so three is a solution. How about 10? Is 10 greater than negative two and less than or equal to seven? Well, 10 is greater than negative two, but 10 is not less than or equal to seven. So 10 is not a solution. So anything greater than negative two and less than or equal to seven will work. And we can see that represented on the number line. So there you have it. There's how to graph compound inequalities involving and on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.